Hello everyone, welcome to Pediatrics and Neonatology. This video is about Horner syndrome. Horner syndrome, which may be congenital or acquired, is a triad of meiosis, ptosis, and anhydrosis. The ptosis is usually mild with a well defined upper lid crease. This differentiated from the congenital ptosis, which typically has a poor defined eyelid crease. Another key finding of the congenital Horner syndrome is heterochromia of the two irides, with the lighter colored iris occurring on the same side as the lesion. Now, anhydrosis can occur in congenital and acquired cases. An important thing to note is that not all of the three signs must be present to make the diagnosis. The Horner syndrome is caused by an abnormality or lesion to the sympathetic chain. The congenital variety is most commonly the result of birth trauma and the acquired cases may occur in children who have had cardiothoracic surgery, trauma or brainstem vascular malformation. Now most worrisome is a Horner syndrome which is caused by neuroblastoma of the sympathetic chain in the apical lung region. An excellent screening test for this is the spot urine vanillic mentalic acid and creatinine ratio. Now pharmacological assessment of the pupils with topical cocaine which is an hydroxyamphetamine or epinephrine will help determine whether the Horner syndrome is due to a preganglionic or postganglionic lesion of the sympathetic chain. And physical examination including palpation of the neck and abdomen for masses and magnetic resonance imaging that is MRI of the structures in the head, neck and chest and abdomen should always be considered. Okay friends, thanks for watching. Please like, share, comment and subscribe to my YouTube channel for more informative health videos.